I might be going through a breakup right now. You might be going through a breakup right now. Somebody you know might be going through a breakup right now. And I don't know if anybody CC'd you on the email, but they suck. Let me tell you my problem. My problem is I can't stop thinking about it. I'm thinking about it while I'm at work, while I'm at school, while I'm trying to do homework. What are they doing? Who are they with? What are they doing with whoever they're with? I don't understand how breakups lead to the loss of appetite. And I lose sleep. Eating and sleeping are my favorite two things. That's why I hate breakups so much. And the other thing that sucks too is every time you turn on the radio, they're playing some song that reminds you that you just broke up. You used to call me, I'm a set. Like, Hotline bling, where are you now? They're even playing Justin Timberlake, Cry Me A River. Like that song hasn't played in 97 years, but because you're going through a breakup, guess what? It's playing. And speaking of Justin Timberlake, even NSYNC broke up. It doesn't even have to be a boyfriend or girlfriend, like even best friends break up. And you know, best friend breakups can be just as devastating as boyfriend, girlfriend breakups. I've been there too. I feel like you feel on the inside. We are literally out of milk. And what really sucks for me when I break up with a girl, my biggest turn on is how a girl acts. The kind of personalities that attract me is like, you don't find those kind of girls all the time. So when I break up with a girl, I get really upset because like, it's gonna take me like five years to find another girl that has a personality as, as good as yours, if not better. I dated this one girl who had a great personality, but she had these like weird pet peeves and she would always threaten to break up with me. True story, one time she told me, if you ever fart in front of me, it is over. Done finito. It would make perfect sense if we were in the fifth grade and she made that rule, but we're, we're young adults here. I was driving down the street, girlfriend's in the car with me, out of the blue random, dead quiet, and all of a sudden I hear, <laughs> and I look over and I was like, yo, I gotta dump you now. I had to like burn my car after she got out. Also something else, there's those times where you break up with somebody. Sometimes you get that urge to just want to run out and hook up with a bunch of people. Don't do that. That's the easy button. Anybody can go do that. I hate the whole breakup process, that whole healing and you know you're gonna be sad and go through all that. But one thing I want to say guys, it's never okay to cut or self-harm. Don't do that either. I know a guy who got dumped and was literally staring down the barrel of a gun, super sad and depressed over this girl. Fast forward a few years, the dude is so happy and so successful, he's wiping his butt now with like $100 bills. So, IJS. Trust me, you're gonna get over this person. I'm gonna keep it 100 guys, when I'm in a relationship, I try to be the best possible boyfriend I can be, and if that relationship goes bad, I try to be the best possible ex-boyfriend I can be. Try that out. I don't think a lot of people spend time thinking about being a good ex. All right, I'm done. I love y'all's faces. Breakups suck, and I'm out. Guys, I'm on my date. Give him a hint as to who you are. Hey, how are you, Swoozie? She's so hot. She's cheating on her husband right now. Hey, where's my Bobby? What's up? It's Linda from Bobby.